Shay, Rakatea Hoa, Rakatea Shay, Rakatea Hoa, Shay, Rakatea Shay. 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 Rakatea Shay. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who were that great stone, and a blessed salutation to the Akims and the folk and the earth to push in the gospel of sincerity and truth. Shalom, come and let's the church of Yahushai, the 144,000 and one third men of the children, countries in the face of Israel scattered among the heathen nation. Right? Which is to so called Negroes, Latinos, a Native American Indian, right? Um, you know, this is a quick lesson. You know, to edify the body of Yahweh Shai. Hey, don't be like the rebellious house, which is two third of you, which is two third of you, so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Don't be like them. They are a rebellious house. You know, they refuse. They refuse to hearken to the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, they despise. They despise His word. Right? You understand? And the end the end gonna be what? That nice. The most high gonna destroy each and every one of them. Right? Um this is um Let me start off with the book um book of Ezekiel. Right? This is the book of Ezekiel chapter um, verse um, Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 8 He said but thou son of man hear what I say unto thee be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house He said open thy mouth and eat that I give thee You understand so don't be like the rebellious house All right and the rebellious house is the, is, is the um is is the chair is two thirds of you so can Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian? You are the rebellious house, you know. You know when they see the men on the highways and by when they, they scrub their face, you know they say all kind of evil, you know. You understand? Towards towards Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because these men that you see on the highways and byways, these video are pestle, which is to you so can Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian, and also to tell the heat in the judgment. But what you are scoffing, you are despise this word. You understand? They despise this word. You understand? This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That is, he said, that, that this is a rebellious people lying children children will not hear the law of the lord yahweh bashem yahweh shaya this two to our people you understand they have no they have no delight in the most high word they despise they despise the most high word right so don't be like the rebellious house you know you hear this word take heed you understand we got a, a time will come you're not gonna hear this word because the most i see you can send a drought on the new wine and the new wine is this knowledge right the most I see gonna send a job. The most I said they gonna be a crying for the new wine in the city. People gonna people gonna go in seeking for these same men that they see on the highways and byway. After you don't scoff at the video, you laugh. All kind of evil thing you did. You didn't want to hear the word because well, you know you was focusing being somebody in this wicked God forsaken kingdom. You know, when we tell you that you're the Israelite. When we tell you that salvation is to the Israelites, you so can Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, they are scarf. You understand? When we tell you that the Messiah name is Yahweh Shai, the Father name is Yahweh, he's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, you know, you are scarf. You are like to say, color doesn't matter, and there's not no color thing, and you ain't racist, and no, hey, Jake, Jake, just Jake, Jake, Jake is just an imbecile. You understand? They, they, are, they have the mindset of a five-year-old. And when it comes to spiritual things, they are retarded. You understand? And they're so proud. They're so proud. They don't want to take correction. They think they know something. You understand? But the scripture said pride wasn't made for man. So they rebel against the Creator. You understand? This is um, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. 
Behold, the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So the most high words a reproach unto them. They they they, they screw up their face. Like last time, many me, me brothers was out the camp day. You know, the spirit was heavy on um, um, Amawan and Tazawa. You understand? And Tazawa was talking about, you know, hey, you're putting, you, 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 you're putting everything before Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You don't want to hear this word and you and you people out there, I don't know. You understand? And that's some Jake Salam day, you know, a man and three women. And you know, you can see the spirit, you can see, you can see it in Eve or continents. The, 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 the displeased when they hear the word and they just walk off, you know. You understand? They just move from the spot where they was and go somewhere else. You understand? They have no delight in the Most High Word. You understand? The Most High Word is a reproach unto them when they hear that they, they displease it, they get angry, you know. That's why you are not going to make it. You are going to be destroyed. You understand? You are going to be destroyed. All right? Now when you are, you are, you are going to... Um, for your for your actions, you are gonna be destroyed for your action because what the most I the most I see come to y'all and give y'all his word but you are displeased it. You are, you are despise. You are despise the most I word. Y'all don't want to hear it. Right? This is um Zechariah chapter seven um verse eleven. He said, But they refused to hearken and pull away their shoulder and this is what they did last night. You know when the brothers started the spirit was heavy on them brothers. You understand? When they hear it, they, 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 they get caught in the spirit. And you can see evil look wrong and you can see the demons on them. You know? He said, um, Zechariah chapter 7 verse 11, he said, But they refuse to hearken and pull away their shoulder. Yeah, they refuse to hear and pull away their shoulder. They don't want to hear the most high word. Right? He said, And stop their ears that they should not hear. And they stop their ears. Every time you mention things about the scriptures around, around two thirds, you know, even your woman, you understand, your little girlfriend, anything you mentioned in the scripture that they get the girl irritating the spirit, you understand? Right? Uh, verse 12, he said, Yea, they made their heart as an almanac stone. Right? He said, Lest they should hear the law and the word which the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushua of hosts. You understand? And this is exactly and this is exactly what's gonna happen to them. You understand? This is exactly what's gonna happen to you people. The most I gonna the most I gonna bring a rat to Yabikawa. You are despised. You are despised his word. You are pulling away your shoulder. You don't want to hear. You understand? You don't want to hear. Right? Let me come back to that. Let me get this one in Jeremiah 7. Right? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse, verse 24. He said, But they hearken not, nor incline their ears, but walk in the counsel and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. Yeah, walking in the ways of the heathens. You understand? Walking on the custom of the, the custom of this world. They take part in every custom that this world upholds, which is wickedness, folly set in high dignity. And when you tell them, yo, stay away from religion, stay away from these, these um, so-called holidays, you know, they don't want to hear, right? Verse 25, he says, since the day that your father came forth out of the land of Egypt, unto this day, this present day, I have, see, I have sent unto you all my servants, the prophet, daily rising up early and sending them. Yeah, before the destruction come, me rising up early. That's why you see the prophets out on the highways and byways through only throughout the embassy the um the 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 the, the four corner the four corner of the earth you understand you see the prophets you see these youtube videos which is video of pestle to you so called negroes latins and native american indian right you understand they seen it but what they despise the most i work they don't want to hear not really most i have to say right uh so don't be like the rebellious house you hear this word take heed repent you are israelite repent be sorrowful, be sincere, and be sincere here when you repent. Turn away from your iniquity. Don't do it again. You understand? Rehearse these righteous acts, which is the last statutes of command to your best ability. Humble yourself. Beg and cry out and fast and ask for forgiveness for your former sins. Right? This is the spirit that you gotta be in. Don't be like the rebellious house. Which is too tall to you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Right? It's um for some 
verse 20 verse 26 jeremiah 7 26 yet they hearken not unto me nor incline their ears but what hardened their necks they did worse than their father he said therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them but they will not hearken to thee but thou shalt also call unto them but they will not answer thee you understand he said but thou shalt say unto them this is a nation which is you so called negroes latins and native american indian this is a nation that obey not the voice of the lord yahweh bashem yahushai their power and the voice of the lord is prophets right nor receive correction truth is perish and is cut off from their mouth you understand Hey, they, they don't obey Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So we go back to Zechariah 7 and 13. He said, Therefore it is come to pass that as they cry, and they, he said, and they would not hear, so they cry, and I would not hear, said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So the Most High said, Hey, as we as he cry on, as we cry unto them, saying, Yo, turn back, you are the Israelite. Turn away from religion. Come out of religion. Stop committing adultery. Stop, stop uh, being a homosexual, a lesbian. Stop worshiping idols. Stop hating your brother and your sister. Stop, stop um, defiling the Lord Temple. You understand? You, you need to repent. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of His Son is Yahweh Shai. You know? You understand? They don't want to hear these things. They don't want to hear these things. So the Most High said, um, back in Zechariah. Chapter 7, verse 30. Therefore, it is come to pass that as he, which is the prophet, cry, and they would not hear, so they cry, and I would not hear, said, said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Oh, so you are going to cry, and the Mosai is not going to hear. Right? And that's why the Mosai said there is a crying in the, is a, there is a crying for new wine in the, in the street. Let me get that. Right? Because when the Mosai, when the Mosai take the prophets out of the street, when the Mosai allow he to to flag all the video and take it off of YouTube, you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna be, be able to access these words to get information to know what to do and what about to happen. Because the most I telling you what about to come, what about to happen. We telling you that the economy is gonna collapse. We telling you that the RFID might get chip is the mark of the beast. Don't take that. We telling you that the you got martial law, they got race war, they got famine, they got civil war, they got World War Three. If the American will be destroyed by Tormen nuclear missile. We tell y'all this thing, but y'all don't want to hear. Right? We tell y'all about Jacob trouble. We see what happened in Venezuela right now. The war spread from the Middle East to the western side. And it can, can get worse and worse by the day go on. By the day, by 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 the days, by so like it, it can get worse and worse as the, as the days go on. Right? They're not gonna de, they're not gonna de-escalate, they're gonna escalate, right? This is um um, Isaiah 24 and 11 there is a cry for wine in the street there is a cry for wine in the street why is the wine for this knowledge they're gonna say wait let me go look for these prophets by where these men is by these men were saying the same thing these men was talking about the economy these men was talking about the race war these men was talking about the famine let me go see what we gotta do with it and you're not gonna see these men the most are gonna take these men out of the street this video gonna be flagged down you're not gonna get a chance to see this video you know why because you scarf you make you mock so when the, when the time come and you need answers, you need you need to know what to do. You're not gonna know. You're gonna be left in darkness and you're gonna be destroyed. That's why he says, "Son of man, be not like that rebellious house, right?" Which is two thirty. You so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, right? This is back in Isaiah twenty four and eleven. He said, "There is a cry for wine in the street. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone." All the, all the family li, 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 and, and, and run with it and all the madness what about these these um these jakes singing you understand every night is a party every night is a boat ride is a and they got big big war escalating right in Venezuela which is only seven miles away from Trinidad to Bigon you all in the mirth spirit the most I say your mirth gonna turn into dark your joy gonna turn into darkness and the mirth in the land will be gone it gonna be mourning bawling lamentation that's where you're gonna be. Right? You got the most I say when he speak, y'all they're not here. Right? So the most I can take this word. The most I can the most I can the most I can take him in off the street and let these videos be flagged down. So y'all not gonna see nothing. 
right? It's Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the day comes, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not of not a famine of bread, nor of the or nor thirst of water, but of hearing the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. And there's the famine that coming. The most I see can send a drought on the new wine. Agai 1 and 11. A drought on the new wine is this knowledge, wisdom. This wisdom that is understanding. The doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north, he said, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and shall not find it. That's why the most I said. They, they, they're gonna be a crying in this in the city for the new wine. They're gonna say, let me go and see if we see these men. There's been there's been there's been there's been San Fernando, there's been um Grandi, there's been Port of Spain, there's been Sawa, there's been there's been Curep. Let me look for these men in the sun. Let me look for them. There's been Arima, let me look for them. There's been you too. Let me look for them. No, y'all not gonna find us. Y'all by Shem Yao Shang gonna take us out of the street. Because well, y'all despise the Mosai word. Y'all didn't want to hear the Mosai word. Y'all had no time for the Mosai word. So hey, when the Mosai take take his knowledge out of the street. You understand? Take his men out of the street. Take down this video. Hey, what, what, what y'all gonna do? Alright? So don't be like the rebellious house. Let me get this one more close off. This is um This is um Second Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Nevertheless. As concerning the token, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. So two thirds of you are gonna be destroyed. Two thirds of you so can Negroes, Latino, Native American are gonna be destroyed. They are gonna be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you reject knowledge, you hate knowledge. When the most are telling you who y'all is, who is your enemy, what y'all gotta do to get salvation, y'all. Yeah, the most I was a reproach unto y'all. Y'all have no delight in it. Y'all you screw your face, y'all you turn away, y'all pull away your shoulder, y'all say y'all don't want to hear the shit. You understand? So hey, this is what I'm going to tell y'all, y'all going to be taken in a great number. Right? It's, it's going to say the turn away of the simple, going to, be, going to be the destruction of him, roughly paraphrasing. Right? With uh, Second Israel chapter 5 verse 1, it said, Nevertheless, as concerning the token, behold, the day, the day shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and, and the way of the truth shall be hidden. Yeah, the most are going to hide his men. Right? And the way of the truth shall be hidden. And the land shall be barren of faith. And the land shall be barren of faith. You understand? So the most are going to take his men out of the street. So take heed. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. And the one third men of the children. Do not despise this wisdom that you understand. Do not despise the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. I take heed. Do not be like that rebellious house. Two third of to tell the use of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, do not be like the house. Take heed, you know, eat this knowledge, take it in. You understand? Humble yourself, repent, get right before Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And with that, over the was edifying, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule that great man's stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the folk and the earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.